Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Crafty Beer Reviews. Today, I'll be reviewing the latest release in Founders Backstage series. This is Redanculous. Gotta love that name, right? That is just badass. Love it, love it, love it. So this is their Imperial Red IPA, as they're calling it, and they're using Chinook, Mosaic, and Simcoe hops in there. Some of my favorite hop varieties, so really cool stuff. This just hit Ohio, so this is about as fresh as you can have it. Of course, there's no bottle date on here, but I know this was just released a couple weeks ago, so still really fresh. Let's go ahead and check out the aroma. Oh, yeah, that is a hop bomb, damn. Oh, that's awesome. Up front, I'm getting a lot of citrus, orange peel, grapefruit. There's definitely some stone fruit character, like apricots and peach. Definitely getting some piney, resiny notes, a little bit of dankness in there. And we're getting a little bit of light tropical fruits, like a touch of mango, maybe a little bit of pineapple in there, but it's mostly the citrus, definitely a decent bit of dankness in there, of course, with a name like that, how could there not be, and a nice pine resin notes. I do get a little bit of sweetness, like a little bit of like a caramel malt sweetness, a little bit of like a bready sweet note too. But yeah, it's definitely all about the hops, let's go ahead and take our first sip. Ooh, wow. Wow. That is really nice. I gotta say, it's even more dank and piney and resiny in the actual taste than it was in the aroma. The aroma, I definitely got more of the tropical fruit, stone fruit, citrus notes, and on the actual taste, up front, I'm getting a lot of pine. It's very, very resiny. Again, a lot of very fresh, hot flavors in here. Yeah, wow. I also get a lot of sweet citrus, like tangerine, orange peel, like a candied grapefruit note. That moves on to a little bit of peach, some mango, a little bit of like this almost kind of like a melon character in there too. Very, very light, but it's definitely in there. Really, really nice on the back end. Very dank. I mean, very, very dank. A lot of pine, a lot of, re lot of resin in there for sure. And then it finishes with a little bit of a malty sweetness. I do get some caramel, some light toffee, a little bit of like a bready note too. But it's, again, mostly about the hops, which is fine by me because most kind of red ales, red IPAs I'm not a big fan of. But this one is pretty damn good. Yeah, really nice. It's got a medium body, kind of a creamy mouthfeel. It's very, very coating. It's got a decent bitterness, but it's not over the top. I know this is 90 IBUs, and it doesn't taste like it. And again, I think that's because there's a balance between the bitterness and the sweeter malt notes. It just, it really doesn't make it seem like it's that bitter. It does dry out a little bit on the back end, but not bad. In terms of the alcohol, can't taste it, can't smell it, don't feel it. Not sure where the hell they hit the 9.5%, but nicely done, Founders. This is dangerously easy to drink. Yeah, I'm really, really enjoying this one. In terms of rating, guys, I'm going with a 9.2 out of 10. Hands down, it has to be one of the best kind of hoppy red beers I've ever had. I mean, whether they call it a hoppy red ale or whether they call it a, a red IPA, whatever you want to classify it as, this is really, really well done. Hidden alcohol, drinkable, nice balance between the sweeter caramel, kind of toffee, sweet bready, mold notes, and the hop bitterness, and then... It's dank, it's piney, it's resiny. The tropical fruit notes like mango, then there's the peach and apricot kind of stone fruit notes. The sweet tangerine, grapefruit and orange peel. Just a lot of hot complexity, a lot of really just great flavor. And it's in a backstage series from Founders that is not expensive. This was 10 bucks here in Ohio. I think that's more than fair considering most of them are 15 plus really really pleasantly surprised with this one and i hope that this is maybe the new direction that founders decides to go with some of these releases so if you guys like a lot of their beers if you've not checked this one out i really really suggest it while it's available all right guys that does for this beer review please remember to rate comment and subscribe and remember i hope whatever you're doing involves good craft beer see ya